Pisces, I'm here for another reading for you today. As always, it is a general and timeless reading. It's not a personal reading, so just take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for the next person. Now, if you would like a personal reading, a one-on-one -on -one personal session with me or Akashic Records, you can go to 144bluerosetemple.com. Just a reminder that we do have a Soul Tribe gathering for the full moon in Capricorn in Yonkers, New York on July 21st. So if you would like to join us, feel free to go to the website or email me if you're interested. And as always, thank you for your love. Thank you for all of your support. If my energy and my readings resonate with you, feel free to subscribe and click on that notification bell so you can know when the next reading does come out. All right, Pisces, we're going to get right to the reading today. I do feel like there's something difficult that has happened as of recently, and you've been navigating that. So we're going to see what that is. Uh, for Pisces, what is this difficulty that they have been navigating through? All right, we do have Earth nurturing the powerful yin. The powerful energy of the yin represents the earth, moon, and motherhood. It nurtures you and makes you strong. Welcome the positive vibration from the southwest and stay grounded. Grasp the golden timing. End of summer, beginning of fall. So that could be quite literally for some of you where things will come to a balance towards the end of summer. So like Leo, Virgo season. So that may resonate with you. I do feel like you have had to be grounded through a situation in your life, Pisces but there's positive things coming in and it does feel like you are either towards the end of like say that karmic cycle or that difficulty um yeah that you're towards the end of that is what's coming through and that's why this message is coming out divine mother and father holy spirit of god why do we have earth for pisces we do have the relics of lumeria fragments memory and reclaiming and then resurrection okay come back rebirth and renewal so Lumeria may resonate with you. We have had a lot of Lumerian and Atlantis codes. Um, fragments, memory, reclaiming. I do feel like you're reclaiming your power. What am I, I'm getting a little bit of the Kalima energy too. So it's like through this difficulty, yes, it was not easy. It was uncomfortable. But it feels like through that time of like darkness, through this difficulty, you were also able to reclaim your power. For some of you, I'm hearing soul retrieval and like retrieving soul fragments, okay, throughout that time. So that was kind of the blessing in that difficulty of like, yes, it was difficult. It feels like maybe it was in your material world in some way, shape or form, but what it did was it helped you reclaim your power. And so there's a gift from every situation. What I'm also hearing, you know, is, um, you know what the enemy meant for harm i will use it for good okay so maybe it was something difficult regarding someone else but you know even if it was difficult or uncomfortable it will always work out for your highest good all right now why do we have earth and the relics of lumeria we do have apollo divine messages merlin cosmic knowledge so it's interesting and, and that is what's coming through is you know through this difficulty you've made a lot of more room for spirit to come into your life you know some of you have even become much more disciplined in your spiritual routine or your spirituality in some way shape or form and i do feel like there's a lot of cosmic and divine wisdom that's coming in for you at this time lumeria atlantis or apollo may resonate with you we're gonna grab some cards from this deck over here this is the beginner's tarot Divine Mother and Father, Holy Spirit of God, why do we have Apollo Divine Messages, Earth Nurturing, and the Relics of Lumeria for Pisces? What is this message for Pisces today? Now we do have Queen of Wands, Five of Coins, and then the King of Wands. Okay, where's Pisces energy in this reading? King of Swords, Truth, okay? Someone was taking or stealing your energy, Pisces is what I'm seeing too, in some way, shape or form, but they didn't take anything from you. I do feel like you learned some sort of lesson from this. Now you are showing up over here as that King of Swords. You're really standing in your truth, having firm, but loving boundaries, um, a balance of yes, emotions, but also rational logic, etc. Now I do see you over here. You could have been dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have temporary financial difficulties, negative changes in circumstances, feeling left out, loss in some way, shape or form, struggles. Okay, so there was a temporary like material difficulty in your life. Could be the home, could be money in some way, shape or form. Why do we have the queen of wands here for Pisces? Why do we have the five of coins? 
This could be someone from the past, okay? Past getting influenced. So it's like your current reality, Pisces, was influenced by something or someone from the past. And it does feel like, you know, Saturn energy, karmic debt, right? There was something to clear. Could have even been just some sort of lesson, okay? Now, why the King of Wands here? Why the King of Wands? We have the Page of Pentacles investment, okay? So something from the past, Pisces, affected your current reality, and it feels like more in your material realm, okay? However, you do have an Aries Leo Sagittarius here that wants to make some sort of investment in you. Someone here is really aligned with your vision, and you were working hard, Pisces, and what I'm seeing is you felt as if you were taking, like, you know, three steps forward, a few steps back. However, I feel like this is a way that you've reclaimed your power and you are propelling forward. So it's like, you know, three steps forward, five steps back, 10 steps forward after that. We have good news and worldly affairs, okay? So I feel like this is Saturn's energy Pisces where there was just something in the past for you to clear out, okay? It could be like a bill of this or that that kind of hit you out of nowhere. But this was an opportunity from Saturn for you to just clear out what needed to be cleared out because it's gonna be replaced um, and then some or multiplied. You know, for some of you, maybe it was just like a sudden expense of something that needed to come out. Uh, and that's what I'm getting is that it was Saturn energy and Saturn retrograde. You're um, you're getting a lot of good karma. It's also a beautiful and I want to use the words beautiful opportunity for you to pay off what needs to be paid off. OK, now we do have an Aries Leo Sagittarius here that wants to invest in you. Why investment and vision? They see your future. OK makes me want to cry a little bit there's an Aries Leo Sagittarius that sees you but they see you they see all of you okay so like yes you cleared this out Pisces and that set you back for just a little bit but there's someone who sees your soul they see how abundant you're going to be in your future and it's like someone and what I'm getting is also stocks maybe some of you really do invest in stocks but for some of you to this person you look like a stock you look like a good investment you know it's like um the type of energy where it's like, and I, I'm mentioning Bitcoin, maybe you do Bitcoin, like, I don't know, you know, but um, it's the energy where it's like, oh, that's going to skyrocket one day. I got to put my coin in here. That's how someone feels about you. Maybe some of you do trade, but for others of you who don't, someone sees you as like a stock and they're like, oh, that person is going to blow up one day. I'm putting my coin into that person. And I see you being very abundant, okay? Um, this person is going to help you get to the next level and you're going to help them as well, okay? Uh, this person will be helped through helping you is also what I'm getting. Why do we have investment, abundance, and vision? Yes, they see you as someone who's very powerful. And they see that truth about you, Pisces. Uh, you have the magician card over here, creativity, action, power, performance. I have all the resources internal and external okay pisces you are the co-creator of your life you are the magician of your life and i do see you creating a brand new reality and that difficulty is temporary if you're going through it right now or have been through it it is temporary you took three steps forward five steps back you're about to take 10 to 20 steps forward after this this was actually a gift from saturn because saturn's like okay i see what's coming in for you we're going to clear this out so that this could come in uh, Pisces, this, this person is going to really invest in you. This could also just be you investing in yourself. Okay. Uh, I see skyrocketing. I also hear Godspeed. Maybe some of you, you know, use the word Godspeed. You're about to really take off over here, Pisces. Uh, and other people know it as well. And it feels like people want to be on your team in some way, shape or form. All right. What's the advice for Pisces in this reading? What is the advice for Pisces? you are so balanced over here okay you have the temperance card giving and receiving and balance you're also in a lot of spiritual power okay uh and for some of you you really have taken your spirituality your spiritual teen much more seriously and not that it has to be all serious you know like you don't have to go into a ceremony of this and that and like you know like laugh have fun laugh with your spirit guides you know talk to them however it is that you naturally talk to them but what's coming through is uh, you're being recognized. You're being recognized for your spiritual work. It is that you have done. I'm hearing behind closed doors. Like people don't realize how much work that you have done 
in the unseen, but it's about to be seen is what I'm hearing. Okay. So even if you've done work in the unseen and people have not quite seen it, they may not have seen everything you've been through Pisces, but they will see it in the form of your blessings that come in. All right. And it says, I know my extremes and now I seek peace. Okay. So for some of you, you're also learning, uh, and that is kind of a little bit of the energy of this month, though, whenever you're coming across this video, it can be for you. I'm filming it in July. Um, understanding your shadows, your extremes, where, ha where am I out of balance in different areas of my life? I see you, uh, being very balanced here. It says traditional values, tradition, consistency, marriage, commitment, Okay, so you're just really committed to something here. And for some of you, Pisces, it really is maybe your spirituality and your journey. We have balance, peace, patience, and moderation. I see you really showing up here in your life, Pisces, with a lot of integrity as well. All right. Ooh, there's a gift coming your way. Let's see what that was. We're going to take all these cards. Charity giving. Teamwork anxiety, friendship, loss, potential for abundance. Pisces, any friends, any co-workers that you have lost, it's because God was making room for you, for, and it says investments again. The right people are going to invest in you, Pisces, and the wrong people, not that anyone's wrong, but the people that are not in alignment with you, the people who don't see you, the people who don't have pure intentions for you, they will not see you. And that is because you are veiled Pisces. So for some of you, you do have people in your life that see you as like, oh, that's not someone I would work with. They don't see you. They don't see you at all. And still that story of Job comes through where maybe you have been through things, Pisces, and there were people that were judging you based off of like something you were going through or went through of like, oh, that person has a lot of work to do. Oh, that person's experienced this. But what's for what's coming in for you was already set and done. I'm hearing prophecy. Okay. Like what's coming in for you. It was already coming in for you. And God put you through a season or God even made you appear a type of way to people veiling you. So that people wouldn't see you, but it's only the wrong people who won't see you Pisces. And I paused because I'm thinking of the story of Isis, goddess Isis of um, when she appeared as like homeless or a beggar and people didn't see her and there there's like a whole story about that with like the scorpions and like this woman and stuff like that pisces in your down season you had a lot of people see i'm getting like almost like a beggar but that's not who you are and there is that story of goddess isis you know so if you go look it up where uh she was veiled as a beggar and as someone who was homeless and she was really a queen underneath all of that. And then some people were like, oh, you know, I'm not, I'm not, that person is like, oh, like, you know, like, look at that person. Pisces, you have been veiled here and you're very, I'm hearing devoted. Okay. So like just your devotion is recognized. You were meant to clear what needed to be cleared. And so it's like people were seeing you in a very particular way. But this was just something like soul work that you had to do, that you had to clear. It was a season of your life, but I'm also getting like protection for what was coming in. You lost a lot of people in the process though. So like the story of Job may resonate with you, which has been coming up a little bit. I've seen other people talk about it too. So just in general, maybe it's collective and goddess Isis may resonate with you. You, though, are grieving people who viewed you in a particular way and left your life. It was meant to. It was actually protection. Because you do have a lot of potential for abundance. There are people who see you in high positions. And that's what I'm hearing. People in high positions are going to see you. So it's like people that are even in higher positions than the people that you lost see the potential in you. And they want to invest in you. All right. So that's what's coming through, too. We do have three of wands, travel, moving abroad foreign country, visionary, moving forward, self-confidence and self-belief. Okay. You do have a bright future ahead of you. 
and you were just doing what it is that you needed to do at this time, you lost people in the process. Um, I'm getting like friends, co-workers, etc. They were seeing you in a very particular way. They did not want to help you, but that's okay. And it's interesting, my right hand is like itchy, okay? So it could be like abundance truly is coming in for you. There's people in higher positions that see you and that will invest in you. Divine Mother and Father, Holy Spirit of God, what advice do we have for Pisces for this reading? We have expand your consciousness and we do have past life healing, Hecate over here. So I do feel like you've been through a lot of awakening, and awakening, initiation and expansion of your own consciousness, Pisces. Increasing self-worth, you know, what it is that you deserve. Uh, now we do have Hecate, past life healing. Uh, could be even a little bit of like persecution, wound healing, throat chakra healing. And my right hand is so itchy, okay? So for some of you, there's abundance coming in. You had to go through this past life healing. And some people were looking, it's like they were defining you by a particular thing you were going through, but that's not who you are. That's what you're clearing, all right? Uh, however, the right people see exactly who it is that you are. What else do we have for Pisces? Pisces. Now this card makes me want to cry because like God always knew what was going to happen in your life. God always knew these blessings and the sun's coming out too. Um, God always knew or like you always knew. This is not like, oh, Pisces may one day be successful. or Like, no, Pisces, you are such an abundance magnet. For some of you, you will take off. People will invest in you. You have so much to offer to the world to other people, to your community around you. You are such a beautiful being of light Pisces. And that's not maybe, that's not like, well, Pi no, this is prophecy, prophecy. This is what the card says, all right? So like even some people may have thought like, you know, of like ah, Pisces is like, some people thought you were pretending because they saw you in this energy. They're like, Pisces is not in that energy. Who? You know, all of these people, they don't see you. And uh, I do see you a little bit sad about it, but try not to be sad about it because God is only veiling you to the wrong people. The right people see you clearly for who it is you are and what it is that you are. And so all of this at the end here, Pisces, these investments, the abundance, the positive changes in your life, the potential, that's not just potential, it's prophecy. And everything that you were doing here, all, all of even the loss, that was direct alignment to bring you into this energy. And some people saw it in a different way and that's okay. You've lost people, friends, etc., along the way and that is okay. Because God recognizes you the Hierophant. All right, you're very devoted. I see you in a lot of integrity. Just be open to all of the spiritual guidance and wisdom coming out this time because there is a very beautiful shift and turn in your life, Pisces. Can I have one more card of advice for Pisces? Heru, okay, so this is Horus. So some of you, maybe Horus resonates with you or even the, high, the eye of Horus. And we do have healing over here. So definitely you've been through some healing here, Pisces. Um, Horus, though, also represents new life, a birth of new life, okay? So new life is upon you, Pisces. The hawk may even resonate with you or Horus. Now that's what I have for you. I hope that it resonates. I'm sending you so much love and so many blessings to your day.